Hey guys, Snoop Blacks here, and today we're going to be checking out a really cool ROM hack made by Mark Kirko. This ROM hack is called Banjo Kazooie The Jiggies of Time. So, pretty much, this ROM hack is putting Ocarina of Time levels in Banjo Kazooie. Kind of like how I made my hack where I put Super Mario 64 levels in Banjo Kazooie. So, I'm playing this on actual console right now, which is really cool. That's one thing I like about Banjo-Kazooie hacks, is that they work on console. The music that's playing sounds really good. I'm just curious what happens when I go back here. Oh, it just takes me right back in here. Alright. Got a little bit of slowdown here, but probably because I'm playing it on console. I'm sure if you were playing on an emulator, you wouldn't experience this. Cool, just going through the town. Of Kakariko Village. I'm surprised, like, how well this music sounds, though. Like, you got the sound font almost perfectly. This just feels so cool to be in Kakariko Village, like, in Banjo Kazooie. The guy that made this, Mark Kirko, you should really check out his channel. He posts videos very rarely, but when he does, it's update videos about this hack. Because he's gotten a lot of Ocarina of Time ported already. This is just a small demo, but hopefully this game is released sometime in, like, 2019. Because, like, from what I've seen so far, it's pretty good. Like, all the trailers are really impressive. Like, he even replaced the title sequence. So it's like the Banjo-Kazooie themed title sequence, but with Ocarina of Time elements. Like, this definitely seems like he did a lot of modeling himself to make this work. Like, what's that statue of? Oh, of that Diddy Kong. No way. That is awesome. Oh, is that the rareware coin? It must have took him forever to make this model. I wonder if he took this from Donkey Kong 64? This ROM hack is just amazing. I'm surprised I haven't played it until now. Oh, that's awesome how the honeycombs are retextured to have hearts. I didn't even know you could do retexturing Banjo's backpack. And this runs pretty well on console, too. It's weird because in the video he didn't even mention console compatibility, but uh, almost any Banjo Kazooie ROM hack that's made will be console compatible. Because the people that made the editor, console compatibility is how they tested it, so. Because when lots of people make editors, they don't try on console, they just try on emulators, which is why a lot of games aren't console compatible. Because the people who initially made the software, like Toad's Tools for instance, which is a Mario 64 editor, they never did test it on console. But since Banjo's backpack, the Banjo-Kazooie editor, came later, they were able to test it on console and make sure that it worked. Oh, is that K. Rule? Man, I love all these references to other games. I guess so far it's been references to Donkey Kong, which is another Rareware game. Alright, let's check out the cemetery here. I think this should be the cemetery. It's been a while since I played Ocarina of Time. Okay, yeah. Uh... Nice, you got Grunty on the doors. That's awesome. Oh! A life. I wasn't even trying to get that. No, I am just honestly just blown away by this hack. I cannot wait till this comes out. This is just a small demo. Of one level out of like probably I'll have over ten when it's finished. But I have a that's pretty cool. This is the entrance to I think the like, Temple of Light or something like that or such and one of the temples. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, I'm too slow. Oh, 
Oh, Jinjo's up there. I wasn't even trying for that. Oh, an Ecom Tokum. I should be able to get that. Just the camera angle is just it's kind of weird going down there. Oh, it's such a weird camera angle. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go to the grave where we learn the sun song, which is, forget which grave it is. Oh! That was lucky of me. First one I hit, I get a honeycomb from it. Oh. I guess it had flowers, which was probably the hint. Which is pretty good game design. Is it? I feel like it's one of these. It's probably that one with the flowers right there. Yeah. Oh, it's an Ecom Tokum. This one has flowers, maybe it's this one? Yeah, I think this would be it. Oh, there's Dry Bones. That's pretty cool. Wait, the other hint was let Dry Bones guide you down the valley. That's so cool how he has so much things incorporated from other Nintendo 64 games. Well, that is so cool how that works. That was... Oh. oh, I hope I don't lose all my notes there. I probably did. Yeah. I forget, in Ocarina of Time, is this house, like, being built? And then throughout the game, maybe it's built at the end? It's been so long since I played Ocarina. I've always kind of been, a, like, a Majora's Mask person. I grew up with Majora's Mask, and I played Ocarina of Time later. But I remember playing Ocarina of Time for the first time when I was, like, 12 or 13, and I honestly thought it was, like, a sequel to Majora's Mask. Because it kind of makes sense, because at the end of Majora's Mask, I think Link is back to being a child, right? And then he wakes up in this forest? I don't know. It made sense to me at the time, then I learned that it was actually a, the prequel to Majora's Mask, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. I remember using the chicken to fly over this part before. Wonder what the bottom of the wells is gonna be like. Wait, is that like a passageway over there? Oh yeah, it definitely is. Hey, what is this area? Guess I better get those notes down there first before I forget. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
Right, so I'm back. Oh no. I do not want to die. Oh, there's a... Looks like another passageway. Let's see what's over here. I honestly have no idea where this is going to lead to. Oh, over here. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder what those running shoots are for. Maybe they're, maybe they're just there for fun. I don't not know how I'm supposed to touch that coin. There must be like uh, a flying thing somewhere around here. I just haven't really been to this part of Kokoriko Village yet. Pizza. No entry. That doesn't look good. 260 notes, so... Looks like that part is just blocked off for this demo. Oh, is that it? You just get a honeycomb up here? I guess I got a better view too, which is nice. It's a pretty cool pizza sign. That is awesome. Alright, let's go over here. Get these notes. Note. Okay, well, that wasn't that much damage, so it's okay. Shoot, did I go into the well on this life or my previous life? I already forget. Let's see what's in here. So I guess there has to be a way to get in there. Oh, looks like I can climb up here too. Oh, there we go. There's the flying pad I was looking for. Now let's see what happens when you go to Diddy's coin. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I don't have much time. Alright, come on. 12, 11, 10. 9. 7, 6. Alright. Oh, the windmill. That's awesome. The music's in here and everything. The music sounds so good for this song, too. Woo. 
This is so cool. Oh, so this leads to the tunnel over here. Is this all one just giant level? Or no, wait, this is probably part of that other loading zone. That makes sense. Oh, wow. I didn't think there'd be a second part to this. I thought the game was just glitching out, putting me through the ceiling. Okay, there's the Jiggy. I knew there had to be a Jiggy in here somewhere. Wait, is that a note that I'm missing? Okay, yeah, that was like impossible to see with that camera angle. Should be good for the windmill. That's pretty cool. That's so cool how we got it on the time activator too. Like I am just blown away by this hack. There we go. So I should be able just to land on there from here. Got the jiggy. Well, you must be able to go in here regularly. Because if it's sectioned off like that, there must be an entrance to this. Maybe on one of the window sills you can break and go in. Just the way that that was sectioned off, it seemed like you could definitely like get in another way. Okay, it's not the door. Maybe that was the only way. I'll try a window. Alright, I'll try this window still. No, I doubt that one could open either. Alright. I'm gonna check this area out a little bit more thoroughly. It's because I kind of just skimmed through it the first time. Oh, there's a ladder over here I don't think I've climbed yet. See where this leads me? Oh, to the green ginger. Cool. Okay, yeah, that door isn't breakable. Okay, so just one more ginger. one thing I do wish there was a little bit more camera control on this hack because a lot of times it doesn't even let you move the camera but I know that's not really the author's fault oh wait there's something up there I don't think I've been up there yet oh yeah and then there's something down here too Unless that's the place that you go to when you go through that uh, K roll door, which could very well be the case. Hey, what's this thing for? Oh, just uh. Wait, I heard a ginger say help. He's whistling at me. It's gotta be close by. Where is that ginger? I hear him calling for help. Oh, I 
thought maybe he'd be on the windmill. Oh wait, is he over there? Oh, there he is. Cool. And then this leads over here. Wait, did I miss the Jinjo Jiggy? Okay, yeah, I did miss the Jinjo Jiggy. Good thing I checked again. For some reason, I thought it was just automatic. Okay, so I need three more Jiggies. I feel like one has to do with this hole. I need to fly around some more, too, I feel. Especially because of that vantage point, that will definitely help. Okay, what is this? What? That is so awesome how he added the text and everything and locked up the Jiggy. Because most people, if they saw a Jiggy was crashed, they would just remove it. But the fact that he spent the time to lock this up, add a character sprite of himself into the game and everything, like, I am very impressed by that. What? How do you get the screen to move like that so it looks like he's actually playing? That is so impressive. He's playing a Super Nintendo, kind of looks like Donkey Kong Country. And that is, oh, the guy from the Banjo-Kazooie demo, I forget his name, but back when it was a Super Nintendo game. An old artwork. That is so cool. I kind of want to get that Jiggy that's in that cage now, even though I'm almost positive it'll crash the game. But there's a small chance that it won't since I'm playing on console, and he might have tested on emulators, so... Maybe it crashes emulators but not console. Just a thought, though. Oh, that isn't even toxic. Alright, well here's... Wait, can I go through this chimney, maybe? No, okay. That's so cool how it has smoke coming out of it, too, though. Wait, what's this? Wait. Is that a Jiggy right over there on that ledge? No, but Bottles is here though. Let's see what he has to say. Use the devastating Beak Bomb aerial attack by pressing B while Kazooie is flying. Oh. Well, I already knew that. Okay. Cool, it didn't take fall damage. That's always a good thing. There we go. Two honeycombs. Okay, yeah, he was smart. 
Made so you can go over there. I wonder if you can go over here. Nope. Alright, so... I figured it out. I watched the YouTube video to be honest, because... I just did not know, so... Okay, the last area that I've been missing is in this graveyard area here. I honestly should have known this because I even looked at the hint earlier. So, the thing I'm missing is... You remember when I went up here earlier and I looked at this note? I'm supposed to do that on this gravestone to get rid of it. Yeah, just like that. So this should be the last area. Hope, oh, maybe. Okay, <laughs> hey, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Still missing five. See what bottle says. Kazooie can take to the air. Okay, yeah. This is so cool, though, how he has this dungeon in. This just feels so surreal playing it. Don't take damage. Yeah, I took damage. Alright, so there's five more notes. Oh! And that is what's under it. That makes sense. I finally figured it out. And this is like almost cryptic. I'm not sure how I would have ever figured this out on my own, but I'll show you where the last five notes I was missing were. So yeah, they were in here. <laughs> here I was just at. So what you gotta do is... Zooey can take to the air by standing on a flying disc, then pressing A. So you gotta go up here. And you gotta press A, and you go up to this area. Which I should have figured that out on my own, but... It's just... Oh, uh, so now I need to go to... Yeah, this area over here. There we go, 100 notes. I figured out where the last Jiggy is. Okay, I guess if I die it won't matter too much since I already got the 100 notes. So another cool thing about this hack is he uh, hid three game boxes around. And I'm going to show you one of the game boxes here. Yeah, so one of the hidden game boxes is just right over here. If you uh, look at this corner here. You can never see it unless you go into perspective cam. Is you got Turok too. The game cart is right there. That's pretty cool. But he hid three game boxes. I know that's one of them. I'm not too sure where the other two are. And... If you know where they are, if you could leave a comment about that, that'd be awesome. Uh, so you end up in here, and there you go, there's the ninth Jiggy. Because you can't collect the tenth one, because you'll end up in that cage. 
Alright, just for fun, I want to try clipping into that gate. Doing some bomb clip, if you will. Because then I could collect all ten jiggies. Alright, so, what I'm going to try to do here is just clip through this gate somehow. So get this jiggy. I just need to find some sort of broken section in one of these walls. Or I can just push right through. Alright, well I just watched the Son of a Glitch episode to see how you do some clips, and clips usually don't happen when you're flying. So I just gotta hope that, uh... I just have to hope that Mark Kirko, uh... has some inconsistencies in one of the walls here. I don't think he does. Alright guys, so that was kind of bugging me how we couldn't collect that last Jiggy. I have a feeling when Mark Kirko tested it, he tested it on emulator, right? And console is different than emulator for crashes, so since I went and moved the Jiggy myself in Banjo's backpack, I wonder if I'll be able to collect it. Alright, let's check this out. Doing the thing that wasn't supposed to be doing. There's the Jiggy, ready to collect. Alright, this is the moment of truth. And the screen's black. And nothing's happening, so yeah, he wasn't lying. I wonder how bad this froze it. Like, can I reset my system? Yeah, it lets me reset, so... Sometimes, if a crash is really bad, it won't even let you reset the system, so you'll have to, like, actually shut it off, so it was just a minor crash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks to Mark Kirkle for making this ROM hack. This hack was truly amazing. If you guys could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated, and I hope you guys all have a great day.